I used to be the student with the high grades in math, chemistry, physics, and biology. I used to study med school uh, in Libya. So everyone expected me to be either a doctor or an engineer. It wasn't the thing for me. I want something more exciting, more lively, more interactive. And uh, while I was scanning through LAU's website, I found this domain called Communication Arts, and it caught my attention. LAU happens to be one of the most prestigious universities when it comes to arts particularly. Regionally, it was the first to have this communication major. There's TV and film, there's multimedia journalism, there's performing arts, there's music, there's advertising and public relations. After my BA, I want to go and get experiences from abroad so I can get them back to the industry here. So LEU, since it's accredited from the United States, it'll be easier for me to go abroad and get those experiences and then come back. I'm doing a double major in business and performing arts. I'm majoring in TV and film, minoring in multimedia journalism. I'm majoring in TV and film, minoring in advertising and public relations. I stumbled upon a scholarship offer from LAU, and so I applied, and I got accepted, and here I am. LAU doesn't just focus on giving you theory, it really does give you opportunities, whether that's inside uni or outside uni, to really make connections and work in the real life industry right now and not later when you graduate. I remember when I went up to my parents and I told them I want to do cinema, they went crazy. Even though I'm still a student at LAU, I actually have a job outside of the university. I'm currently working as a production manager. I was happy I was able to redefine what communication arts is, at least to my parents, because they weren't on board when I first joined. They're, they thought, uh, how, what are you gonna work? What are you going to do? We need something practical. So starting from my second semester, I was working part-time and I was getting my own income. So that was like the perfect argument for them. Other than that, you have incredible faculty members, incredible structures and staff who are always there and they're supporting you and they're trying to actually help you get there. They teach you the rules so you can break them. They build on your individuality, they push you forward as a person and make you grow as who you are. Students are offered a huge variety of equipment very much similar to what we use in the industry. There's always this energy that's between all the students it's because we have this sense of working together and always uh, collaborating and to, like, producing really good work. If a person have a film, we all have to work on that film. If a person is doing his play or her play, we all work as a team. As part of the broadcast journalism class, a lot of departments joined the TV film journalism to produce the first episode of the talk show Chat City, produced by LAU. It really exposed students to the real life experience of hosting a TV show. What makes the performing arts program here in LAU so special is that it motivates you to do projects outside of class, rather just in the class. So an example of that is the International Dance Festival. It's a festival that gets people and dancers from all around Lebanon and gets them to work together with international choreographers that I got the opportunity to perform with. I've acted in one of the major productions and I have stage managed for about three or four other plays. LAU collaborates with a lot of universities and foreign exchange programs. I'm really excited to go to the Danish School of Media and Journalism because LAU can offer a scholarship for housing in addition to a scholarship in the university's tuition. I attended UC Berkeley. I participated in the Salzburg Academy for Global Media and Change. What I mostly enjoyed about that experience was how I was surrounded by almost 70 people, students from all around the world. I've also participated in an event called Andy Lab. Media Digital Literacy Academy of Beirut. It teaches how to be media literate. All of these beautiful people and professors from all over the world came and just shared their knowledge. We did uh, so many projects, but the most interesting one was a PSA project. The video that I ended up submitting to that competition, organized by Institute of Women's Studies in the Arab World, in collaboration with Abad, UN Women, and ESQA and I won the first prize. I directed my first independent short film. I sent it to Cannes Film Festival and it was selected and it was screened there. My short film, Lamha, it went on to the 23rd European Film Festival and it won the best short film prize. Cut. This is a dagger which I see. 
see you before. And our guest today is Lord Hirani and Stephen Tennis. This field is full with opportunities. There's a lot of domains that they can really dig deep into and they can find themselves in one of the things that they like.